Generic grandfather is one of my aesthetics, but not what I was going for this time. Hey guys, today is going to be the first in a short series of styling videos that I have coming up where I compare two different styling concepts or trends. So the styles that I am comparing today, or rather I should say not so much comparing, but seeing if I can create them just within my own limited wardrobe, are neutral outfits versus colorful outfits. This is kind of playing with those two extremes. So something to keep in mind is that these will not be 100% every item in the outfit is either neutral or colorful because that's just not how my wardrobe is. Rather, I want to create outfits where the focal point clearly is that it's neutral or colorful. There's gonna be a slight bit of overlap because that's just what I have available. So before we jump in though, let me explain the categories and how I'm breaking it down. So there's going to be three pairs of outfits starting with the most casual setting going to the most dressy setting. Now, most of my clothes are pretty casual, so even the most dressy setting is more of a casual dressy, but I will explain as we go along what those different scenarios are. So uh, that's enough talking, let's just get started. Round one, we're starting with the most casual scenario. For this, I'm going with hanging out at a good friend's house, whatever the occasion might be, just a low key, laid back hangout. So for this, I went with a lot of gray. I thought about doing an all black look, but I really like this warm brown with the gray. I feel really cozy in this and it just reminds me of having hot chocolate on a gray cloudy day. Maybe that's just because it is gray and cloudy and I want hot chocolate right now. Who knows? Definitely leaning in more to the darker neutrals, which is more my comfort zone. I actually really like this. This feels very going to a bonfire at your friend's farm. I feel like I want to say more, but there, there's nothing more to say. Here it is. <laughs> and this is the colorful alternative to the most casual outfit. I mean, did you really expect me to not use this romper for a video about colorful outfits? So obviously, oh, please don't fall down. I keep stepping on this. So rather than just having the full romper out, I decided to pair it with some jean shorts. I know some people consider denim a neutral. I kind of think it can go either way because yes, denim is a neutral, but also it's blue. <laughs> I kind of feel like the full romper is just really, really loud. So adding some jean shorts kind of balanced it out for me. And then I added my red Converse. These are the only colorful shoes that I have. <laughs> and there is some red in the romper. So I thought that paired well, nice together. Well, I thought that paired that didn't make any sense. So I thought that paired well together. This doesn't feel like a bonfire outfit so much as like a backyard barbecue outfit. I don't dislike this, but honestly, I don't think I would wear it out. I think I would feel much more comfortable with just, I don't know, a regular top or tank top with these shorts and the Converse. If I saw someone else wearing this though, I'd be like, hey, nice outfit, that's pretty cool. It doesn't really feel like something I would wear because it's just too much, too conspicuous, and I don't really care for being conspicuous. Maybe it's time to part with this romper. <laughs> Round two is slightly more dressed up, but still very casual. For round two, the scenario I went with was going for a coffee date, but a little less casual and a little bit more, I might post this on Instagram later. So for the neutral option, I wanted to try something with mostly all browns. This is not typically a neutral combination that I usually wear. I like the colors, but I'm not sure how I feel about this particular outfit. I feel like I've seen iterations of this at least a hundred times on Pinterest, and maybe that's why I don't 100% love it. Like it's relatively comfortable. These are things that I own that I like to wear, but maybe just because I've seen this particular combination done so many times, I'm like, ah, I just, it's a little too on the nose, I think is what it is. Plus this sweater vest is so floppy. I kind of just feel like a grandfather. Generic grandfather is one of my aesthetics, but not what I was going for this time. There's nothing wrong with this. I think I would actually wear this probably with a skirt in the future if I did decide to go with this type of combination. I did try to keep it a little bit more springtime inclined by going with shorter sleeves and then white sneakers. And I did have this little neutral Tommy Hilfiger bag that I got from my mom as a hand-me-down. I got it for free. Thanks, mom. Again, I feel like I should have more to say, but uh, you have eyeballs, so you, you figure it out. Okay, I think the real hang-up that I'm having with this outfit is that that the girls on Pinterest wearing it look very like chic and light academia, but I just look straight up academia. You can just call me professor. 
For the colorful outfit option, it should be no surprise that I went with this sweater. This is definitely a favorite right now. I'm kind of obsessed with this cardigan. This is just such a vibrant, eye-catching color on its own that I didn't really feel the need to pair it with too much else that was bright and colorful. Yes, I know this skirt is technically black, but I figured since it has all the colorful embroidery on it, that kind of counts as a color. White sneakers again. And then I do also have a little blue crossbody bag. Ironically, even though this is more colorful than the last outfit, I think I'd be more inclined to wear this on a coffee date than the neutral outfit. Yeah, for me, round one went to the neutrals, but for this round, I think it's going to the colorful outfit. I think because there is an item that has a black base to it, I've still got one foot in my comfort zone, but then one foot in something new. Right now, these are probably two of my favorite pieces that I have, so this feels way more like something I would actually wear out to a coffee date. It just feels very bright and feminine and makes me feel good. Round three, we are comparing the most dressy outfits, by which I mean not really dressy at all, just um, slightly more dressy than the last two. The scenario I went with, oh, for crying out loud, please don't fall. The scenario I went with for these next two outfits is a bridal shower brunch. So you'd want to be a little bit dressy for this, but it's not like a super formal event. For the neutral option, I went with this white floral dress. And for accessories, I have this light brown belt and sandals that just happen to match in the same shade of brown. I actually have no idea how to tie this, so it's just kind of tied in an awkward bow. I'm tempted to snip off the tie part and just add a clasp. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? I actually really like this. I did recently alter this dress for a second time. <laughs> So I'm really happy with where this dress is now. It feels very just summery and feminine. And I feel like this would be appropriate for a bridal shower, maybe? Is it too white? Maybe I should change the scenario. I feel like if it was all white, like just a solid white dress, then that would be a no-no. But since it's patterned and paired with other non-white accessories, I feel like it's fine. I don't know, maybe you disagree. I think this would be okay. If I needed an extra layer in case it was getting a little cold, I'd probably just grab a cardigan. Uh, I'm not gonna show you though, cause it's a little frumpy. This definitely just makes me wanna keep swishing. And our last outfit, the colorful option for round three, is this very bright pink dress. And I paired it with my embroidered high heels that I never wear, and now I know why. Oh my goodness, I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> These hurt. These shoes are freaking gorgeous, but um, they're meant for sitting. I actually had put this dress in storage because I was like, it, it's so bright and so frilly that even though I love it, can't part with it, I'm not gonna wear it. And lo and behold, I'm using it for a video. Dressing it up with some heels and actually doing my hair and makeup, I actually don't mind it. I think I still like the neutral option a little bit better, but this dress just makes me happy. It is everything that does not suit me in clothing, but I just feel like a spring tulip. I just, it's so bright and so swishy and it just, I, yeah, I don't know, it makes me happy. So even though I think I like the neutral option better, I do still like this. This still feels like something fun and bright and springtimey to wear to a bridal shower or a baby shower, some kind of ladies centric springtime event. I think for an outer layer, even though this is technically a neutral, I know. It has colorful embroidery on it, and I think it pairs well with this dress. This dress is tricky because the frills don't like to be stuffed inside of sleeves, but I do think this works well as an outer layer option with this dress. All right, let's do our wrap up. All right, so those are all of my outfits that I have for you guys today. Do let me know which category you think won. For me personally, I think neutrals won out slightly, but it was fun to play around with some colorful stuff and try to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. So do let me know which one you think won, or even individually, round by round, which ones you liked. Like I said, I do have two more of these types of style comparison videos planned, but I would like to also know your ideas. If you have two styles that you would like me to compare or two styling concepts or just fashion concepts that you want me to try out, do leave those in the comments as well. I'm gonna spread these out over a couple of months, so there is room to do more than just three. So thank you guys so much for watching this style experiment. I really hope you got something out of it. I think I'm gonna go make that hot chocolate. I was talking about earlier. I'll see you next time. Bye. So rather than just throwing up a bunch of, throwing up? 
And here's the tangle of wires at my feet. What in the world? Okay. So I, bleh. Ow, I bit my tongue. Holy darkness, Batman. <laughs> Where was I going with this? Thank you.